Hello, hello, we're back at it again with another event. Today we are going to downtown Everett for the Everett Food Truck Festival. There's vendors, tons of food trucks, obviously, um, music and drinks, uh, like a beer garden, stuff like that. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, this is my first year doing the Everett Food Truck Festival, so I'm excited to see how it goes. Obviously, I've got the car completely packed up. I am just about to head out. I'm running a couple minutes early for once. Um, but I am, for some reason, particularly anxious to just get this setup figured out. Uh, so basically I have to completely unload my car, leave my stuff, go park like a couple blocks away and then come back and then I can start um, like completely setting up and stuff. Uh, which always kind of makes me anxious just because it's a, it's a lot. It's a lot, a lot, a lot. And, um, but uh, I love being in downtown Everett. It's always such a good crowd. It should be a lot of fun. Hopefully I'll be able to hear the music and stuff. So um, let's get this thing started. Something before I forget uh, that is important to mention is this is a two day event. Um, so today it's from four to 8.30 and tomorrow from noon to seven. So I'll be really interested to see how it is doing two days um, and go from there. So let's see how it goes. Here's a little recap on how yesterday went. I got very busy once people got off work around five. Um, had a really nice rush and I met my like daily goal. I actually surpassed it just a little bit. I've never done this event before, like I said, so I kind of keeping my expectations minimum, but we'll see how today goes. I've had a few sales already, um, which is really nice. Uh, I didn't really do any restocking last night. I discovered I had an issue with some of my chapstick keepers that I made a while ago and um, so I remade some of those this morning, but other than that, I was so tired when I got home last night. Um, it's been so muggy that I just do not, I couldn't, I could not be bothered to make any more cups, even though I probably could have. So my cup selection is actually pretty minimal today, but honestly, hopefully I'll just sell out. I probably won't, but hopefully I will. So. Here is to hopefully a really great day two at the Everett Food Truck Restaurant. Like. Midday update, it has slowed down quite a bit. Um, I think heat may be scaring people away a little bit, but um, so far so good. Lots of interest in all the stuff at home, which is good to know. Um, selling tons of stickers, so apparently Everett just really likes stickers, because honestly lately my stickers haven't been selling that great. Um, also, the sun catchers have been doing really well, and I'm selling through my books pretty quickly. So, I'm very excited the today. It's almost time to clean up. I hit my goal. Um, it's been super windy, and I've been watching people's tents almost take off for a couple different times. Um, and yeah, so I'm very really excited to go home. Uh, I'm some kind of what holds my tents I feel like I've sold all along today. So.
So it has been a couple days since the food truck festival ended. It ended on Saturday night. I had to load up super quickly to get out of the way. Um, probably record breaking load up time or load in time, load up, loading into my car. Yeah. I loaded up very quickly and went home. I was super tired. Um, so yeah, probably record breaking <laughs> load up time uh, there. I was very quick to get out of the way. Um, so I took Sunday to relax and yesterday I basically started prepping for my next set of markets this weekend. Um, so I am really busy, uh, but I wanted to take a minute and kind of end the vlog with a little bit different information than what I've already shared before. Um, specifically, I wanted to go over the amount, not monetarily what I made because I'm not super comfortable with sharing that just yet. Um, but doing, uh, telling you how many of each item I sold. Originally I was like, oh, well maybe I'll just do like my top three, but then I was going through it and marking everything down. Like I literally like marked everything down. Um, I was kind of shocked. <laughs> I actually, so I keep all of my, like when I'm at the markets, um, I do everything in like little notebooks. Um, and I actually finished, so last year, over the course of the whole year, I went through one whole notebook my last market of the year it was like december 17th or something like that i ended up going on to like the back page of like the end of my notepad and i was so excited because i was like oh i finished out the whole year in one notepad um this year i'm just over halfway through the year and i finished out the notepad and had to start into a new one while i was the food truck festival which thankfully i had brought another one with me which was great let's just get into the nitty-gritty of it really quick um i'm going to kind of break down so i sell for those of you who don't know, I sell mostly stickers, stationery, glassware, um, and I've recently started doing um, a little bit more accessories in like uh, wristlets, chapstick keepers, coasters, a lot of like stuff with sublimation. I bought a sublimation printer a few months ago, um, so I've been working on that. Um, so yeah, and then I just kind of sell like accessories relating to that sort of stuff. So. My number one seller by far was stickers. I sold 103 stickers, which kind of when you think about it doesn't seem like a lot, but to me it is. Um, like that's a lot of stickers. Um, usually I only see numbers like that when I do wholesale orders. So that was really cool to see. Um, my next top seller was my 16 ounce Libby glasses. Um, I sold 17 16 ounce glasses and then 15 20 ounce glasses. Um, so those were my next ones. Uh, after that was car coasters. Um, I do sell those sometimes individually, but usually in pairs. Um, I let people mix and match designs. Um, and I just put out some Halloween design ones, but I also have mushrooms and monsteras that do really well every time. I sold 14 of those. Um, let's see, after that actually was keychains. Um, which was a little bit of a surprise to me because I didn't feel like I sold that many, but when I was packing up, I did realize that there was a couple designs I only had a few left of, so I have to make a big keychain reorder. Let's see, after that is chapstick keepers, which people are always so excited to see. They always are like, oh my gosh, I lose my chapstick all the time, which is totally true. I lose mine literally all the time too, so really fun seller. Um, let's see, after that, uh, would be the wristlets that I have, also neoprene, sublimation. Um, so those were really popular and that's really fun. Um, the next is something that I brought for the first time this weekend uh, and I only had eight of them, nine of them. Yeah, I only had nine of them um, and it was straw toppers, um, little like cloud rubber straw toppers, specifically ones that can fit on the glass straws. Um, I sold six of those and that was tied with my tote bags, which I also sold six of and I sold out of two designs of the tote bags. One was like a retro style mushroom um, and then the other one was some hanging plants that I also, I have both of those designs on cuffs as well. Um, then I had sun catchers, which I felt like were selling really well because I had a lot of interest in them, but uh, maybe didn't sell as well as I thought because I only have three marked down. I'm kind of wondering if maybe I didn't mark something correctly. Admittedly, my handwriting is atrocious. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, so after that was my mystery sticker packs that include three stickers. Um, those are always kind of fun for people. They like the surprise. Um, I sold two of those and then the last thing, the, um, like the worst seller, uh, is my stationery, which unfortunately is always my worst seller and it makes me very sad. So yeah, I only sold one sticky note thing. It was like a three by four sticky note pad. I actually have my GoPro sitting on top of it, on top of one right now. I use mine all the time, but I probably own 30 sticky note pads and I rotate through them all day because I work from home. So, um, yeah. So in total, I sold a lot of items. Okay, did the math, 192 items, which is absolutely insane to me. Um, anyways, uh, I sold 192 items at this market. I met one of my mid-tier goals. It's like I was explaining to a friend, I always have three tiers of goals, which is kind of sad. I have my high-end goal, which is what I would love to hit and would just probably make me cry happy tears. Um, I have my mid-tier very realistic goal, the one that I think based off of what I know of the event and of my products and of the time and all that sort of stuff, um, what I think will sell and like how I'll do. And then I have my low tier goal, which is basically as long as I hit that, I'll probably come back to the event again. Um, and I hit my mid-tier goal. So pretty happy about that. Um, if you stuck around this long, Thank you so much for tuning in and watching my little vlog. If you have any questions about me or my business um, or about markets in general, feel free to drop them in the comments. Um, subscribe to see more fun stuff. And um, if there's anything else you wanna see from me, let me know. I'm always happy to share and give advice and all that sort of stuff. Uh, so, have a wonderful day and thank you for being here.